Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, day started off a little bit iffy, as you know, but my goodness, it really turned out to be a pleasant afternoon. We had some sunshine peek through, boosting that temperature up to 74. Granted, still 11 degrees below the average of 75. The morning start of 43. At this time, it's getting cool. Clear skies, 53 degrees. By the way, go outside. Look at that full moon up there. I mean, it is brilliant again on this Wednesday evening. Humidity, 43% of west northwesterly breeze. 5 to 10 miles per hour. Other temperatures, a mix of upper 40s, low 50s, and slowly dropping with the clear skies and the fact the wind is relatively light. We're in between weather makers right now, and oh, it's really nice to see as we're getting a little bit of a break from the, the wet weather, the cloudy weather. Uh, one system off to the east of us out in the Atlantic pulling away. There's another weak system up here in the lakes that could actually bring us a few clouds later on tonight through early tomorrow. The exception of that, it looks like it will stay dry uh, as we roll through your Thursday and another decent day on the way. Here are your low temperatures tonight. Chilly out there, upper 30s, low 40s expected, right around 43 in the metro. Actually, the warmest weather off to the west. There's that little patch of clouds I'm expecting very late tonight into early tomorrow. Those will clear out. We'll see several hours of sunshine before more clouds develop middle of the day, especially through the afternoon. But even with the clouds around, it will be a dry day and a milder day. High temperatures tomorrow will climb into the middle and upper 60s area wide. That's going to feel pretty good. Look for around 69 in the downtown region. As I mentioned earlier, enjoy it because here we go again. Friday morning, we wake up to rain chances going through the ceiling. Matter of fact, as this storm system slips through, it's gonna be a cold rain first half of the day, diminishing through the afternoon. We get on the back side of this thing, pick up a pretty stiff northwesterly breeze. So temperatures will likely be in the 50s through the first half of the day. It could easily be in the upper 40s by late afternoon. As far as the Mother's Day weekend is concerned, more chilly weather expected. Dip in the jet stream will be over us. And that simply means for Saturday, even with lots of sunshine, we're at 57. But in the morning, we could check in with some frost. Mother's Day itself, clouds increase and even a chance for a few late day showers. The forecast overnight tonight, mainly clear, cool, 43 on that low. We'll start there in the morning, 64 middle of the day. Pleasant tomorrow afternoon with upper 60s, even with increasing clouds. Here comes that chilly rain Friday. It's out of here Saturday. That chance for a morning frost, perhaps even a freeze in a few spots. Mom's Day, a few afternoon showers possible. We dry it out. It stays cool Monday, Tuesday before things warm up to 70 next Wednesday. And Rick, beyond the scope of the seven-day, there are signs that the 80s may make a return hey. late next week. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, yeah, they weren't going to be that far off. That's All right. right. For, mm -hmm. To stay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that yeah. 85 that That's one week. That's key, right.